Welcome back to Valheim. My name is Nilaus, and this is another episode into our Mistlands journey. Today we will be taking over one of the Dvegar villages and using it for our own because we need to build a base inside, or at least a little output, inside of, uh, of Mistlands in order to do some farming there. And what better way place to do it than already uh, taking a, over a stone fortification where, the, where there's someone who will, who will soon be evicted. Yes, so we'll be popping some good food. I am using this uh, platter now. Uh, that goes up to pretty high food here. That's nice. And we'll be going in. So uh, thank you all for uh, following this series. I really appreciate it and uh, really support uh, all of your support. It's super amazing. I am going to... I'm going to be bringing that one along. Uh, we need to get this one online. There we go. And we will be going back in here. Now, I am also streaming this on Twitch. So if you want more and be sort of less than sort of the, the, the story part, but also the journey uh, there, then uh, feel free to join, join in on our on my Twitch stream when I'm streaming. And you can find the schedule either on my Twitch channel or on Discord. Anyway, that was just me just uh, chatting a bit while we were getting started. And there. So you can see... We're starting to get some progress here uh, for our little location here. And uh, this is uh, just getting some steel, some iron. That's uh, going to be really nice. We need that. And we are also going to need to ferry things back and forth between this location and the other location. Ooh, I should probably draw some mist lights. And it's raining. Lovely. Well, uh, what we need to go is uh, in here. We have the mine that we looked at last time. Uh, we're not going to go in there. That's going to be a separate episode. But the Dverger uh, location here is... Definitely what we want to take a look at. So let's uh, head on over. Uh, this armor stand, armor stand, weapon and armor. Those are resources that we can and probably will take. But uh, not on, on our way there. We just want to get, get there safely. Oh. And now it's like, Deskido, seriously? Pfft, whatever. And into the mountaineering. I know there was a path that we've chosen here. We found a path that works. All ah, right, it's uh, by this location here. There you go. See, I've marked it. Oh shoot! Seekers. That was interesting. Didn't really do much, but that's that's fine. Okay, I, I'll take it. Uh, this uh, rain is not good for us, to say the least. Uh, I think that if we look at this part, this is uh, more of a valley, which makes it absolutely amazing. Uh, the, oh, ancient sword. I should also I should mark all of these. Weapon. I don't know. I, I feel like I should. Oh, and some uh, puffs. We are definitely going to take that. And I also want to just chop a little bit of wood because I realized that we need to get uh, 10 for our construction because we're going to make a portal there when we get closer. So we're going to need uh, 10 wood for our workshop. Okay. This is just um, Star City. Okay, this is a little bit tricky. I just, I, I don't understand how we're, it's so difficult to hit anything here. I definitely want to take this small one first. There, now there's only one. One, two, smash, and then you get some stamina. There we go. All right, another one star. Don't know what that sound was, but I didn't like it. Oh, that's a soldier. That's definitely a soldier. Yep, 
That's Soldier Boy over here. Not Soldier Boy. Well, did I aggro? Pretty much, pretty sure I did. This is a uh, it's just wrecking everything, so that's a soldier. Where are you? Hey! And then, uh, you really want to go back behind it? It makes a gigantic difference. Now it's already almost half hit points. And go behind. Even though that one. Look at that. That's how you take the soldiers. You parry. And then you run behind them and hit them in the back. They are much more susceptible there. Perfect. And they didn't even chop down a tree for us. Uh, I we, we need this. And I don't know if I should mark it on the map or not. Anyway, we were chopping a bit of t a few trees here before we got so rudely d interrupted by lots of things. Right, so we're coming up on this, uh, these mages and rogues and this Dvegar outpost. And I want this Dvegar outpost, and I'm sorry, but <laughs> that means they have to go. Um, I also need to make a place for a portal, and... Oh, I don't need to take one of my uh, precious, precious potions at this point. Definitely not. Okay, I have tons of potions, that's not it, but now I can't use one for, for, for a couple of minutes. This prevents us from getting in there. Uh, this will be ML2, and then we'll go to the map and mark it as ML2, ML2. Good. All right, so now I uh, just need to go on a rampage against these poor hapless dwarves here, and it sucks because... Uh, ah, they're going to be so difficult. All right, the mages are not mages. They are basically clerics. They heal so much more. What if I do... Uh, they're not exactly uh, buying this. So I'm just going to do this. Let's let's try it. What could possibly go wrong? Good. So we got one. And then we uh, just kind of run away. Uh, ow. So the mage is not the one I really want. I want to take the, everything except the mages first. Because the mages are... Uh, they heal for such a stupid amount that it's really difficult. And uh, yeah, can you just not... There, that that's the guy I want. There you go, these are nasty. Kill these. There. Alright, cool. And then we just want one of each of things. Each of those. Oh, they, I, I don't know. Are they shooting at me or are they just... Whoa. Ah, there's a bunny. Alright, good thing I didn't panic. So what are they actually attacking though? Kind of worries me a bit. Yeah, they, they have like the stupidest healing. And there's no healing reduction in this game. So this is just... And then he starts healing. And the only way I've found is that if I <laughs> use my special attack, then I can interrupt his healing. Oh, that's it. That's the nasty hit. And then that's his healing. And then you do something, and then I have to interrupt him. Every time he tries to heal. Then I have to interrupt him with the special attack. That's the only way I've found that I can do anything against this. Good stuff. Uh, we still have more. Oh, there was a Seeker. Nice. So they got in a fight with the Seeker. Perfect. Oh, what are that? I got Blue Jute. I don't know what that is. That ah, nice. Okay, cool. Um, I'm pretty sure there's someone up here as well. Upstairs. Yeah, and that's going to be difficult. But we take out the ward. You're on. Stay nice. Stop that. How are we not killing that wolf? Because I'm basically hitting everything. Alright, here they come. Let's get the hell out of there. A couple. Wow. Oh, cool. 
Yeah, I don't, that was magics. Okay, that. Oh. I really don't want to take both of them at the same time, so let's just head out. I'm warning you, that's not how you'd warn people. That hurt a lot. Yeah, I want them separate. Hiding. Ow, that AoE. Ow, ow, everything is ow. Um, even more ow. What the hell happened to our acute lack of healing here? See, that one is... I have no idea how to deal with that. Are you kidding me? What kind of mage is that? Are you kidding me? What the hell? All right, well, that art mage was... Uh, Distinctly unfun. Interesting. Uh, hopefully that means that you killed something. Uh, soft tissue. And, oh, coins. That means there's a dead dwarf around here. And someone also decided to kill my beautiful portal here that was placed in a very inconspicuous area. Hmm. All right. Let's take these things. And what is this one that's lying here? Let's just coin. All right, I will still press F6, so don't uh, accidentally use my potion again. And we are going to try to rebuild it here. It, I know it's a shitty position. It's just for respawning. And ammo 2 that's the one. Good. And I can take whatever I had dropped off. All right, we are going to go in again. 200 hit points. All good. No fire assist, but... I could and should probably use a fire assist, but the best way to get a frost mage is to pop a fire assist potion, so um, we won't do that. Interestingly enough, it may be even... Maybe there, there was a seeker that actually killed <laughs> killed the mage? Are you kidding me? Mm. Copper. I don't want copper. That's too heavy. Uh, oh, this is interesting. Uh, that's really interesting. Now I can't get up there. But how am I not uh, destroying the ward? Okay, good. So now the ward is done. Certain core, sweet. Uh, then I will make another crafting bench in here. Because this is now my house now. I will also make another. Uh, let's kill all of this part. That shit does not need to be here. There we go. I know there's still someone upstairs. And it's those that I need to deal with. But I can't get upstairs just yet. Okay, so I have to go back and remove the other one. Uh, we might want to drop some things off here. Do I have... Yeah, I do have some extra wood. Oh, we're actually going to start moving into this location even before the, uh, the, the other ones have moved out. That's uh, We're basically a bit squatting here. I hear... Do I hear them upstairs? I think I do. And chest and chest. And we can just drop some things in here that we don't think we want to carry around. There we go. Oh, we have one wisp. Interesting. Oh, copper scrap. That's interesting. All right, whatever. Uh, there. Don't want to carry that. Actually. That means that I can now build at least one of these torches here. Let's build that. There. To give us a little bit of light out here. And we are again going to take that, take that, and grab the stuff. Move back in to our new home. Uh, I don't think we're quite ready for just calling it our home yet because I'm pretty sure there's still something upstairs which means this is like the worst place in the world to put a portal because that is middle, middle of our fighting area and uh, then we'll take that out and make it up let's make it up here ML2 good now I need to get up there somehow Okay, I somehow built the most unsafe place here and I now have to kill a mage in close combat with no... Are you kidding me? Well, that didn't happen. We'll cut that out. No one will ever see that. Mm, I think I have a sneaking suspicion as to why this whole base got destroyed. There we go. So, uh... The big attacks that uh, stun, yes, definitely. Okay, well, you wrecked everything, didn't you? You bastard. 
Um, crates? Are there anything in them? No. Uh, little bit of stuff in them. Soft tissue. All right, well, let's go up the stairs and find out what's... Uh, uh, hold on. There's supposed to be a component crate in here. Uh, where? Um, there is something... Oh, there we go. We got this one. The Dweger Extractor. That's the that's the money. That's the whole reason why we started this genocide here. Okay. Uh, well, uh, now it's ours. We've killed all the Dweger that were in here. And we have now... Uh, let's see. Is there anything else we need up here? No, not really. Uh, we maybe need to make this into an actual roof. Because I don't think there's a discounter's roof anymore. If it ever did. And we are back down at the bottom. And yeah, they killed a few things. But it's it's done. We have uh, secured this. And we can then de destroy this awful building that we have uh, done here. And so here we are on our last leg of our transfer journey here. I am uh, carrying uh, 448. So I do not have any uh, storage here. So yeah. And uh, this is the problem. I can only fight... Oh, that level, that just level difference is just getting us there. Here we go. And then you can see I can still run here. And it's still pretty clear because, well, we have a long line of uh, close placed wisp lights all the way over. So that means we can actually run without being a... Uh... Yeah, as long as they don't kill these, then we have a, basically a pathway here from our old location, ML1. Uh, that was in the plains area and to our new location here where we have now brought all the things in we want and there so now we have even more stuff although i can't really just put it in uh, let's see that one okay so what is it i want to make well uh, i want to make a crafting i want to definitely make some charcoal kiln and then i want to make um, Black Forge, that's where we're working towards, but let's not get ahead of ourselves. Basically, what we want, we want to make a Draco Extractor, and that requires black metal and a workbench. Oh, that's a construction thing. Okay, so we actually have to carry those things to the place where we want to make it. Okay, cool. So that's, uh, that's going to be one of the things we want to make. And, and in here, we also want to make... A blast furnace. Okay, so let me make a blast furnace. So the production is now ongoing. Uh, I will be sort of alternating between having a blast furnace because I only need that to the extent where I have a machine of black metal that needs to be processed and I only have like three remaining. And then I'll switch it over to make, to convert uh, into more coal because that's also something we need to definitely. So uh, this uh, little cozy place here is now ours. The one thing we are, well, not the one thing, but the thing that we want to focus on now is actually take some of this beautiful terrain out here and make it, yeah. We probably need to have, okay, I can't see a damn thing here. Um, I know I should be walking around with this enabled, uh, but I also really like to be able to go here without needing to have that enabled. That means actually just pushing all of this back again all this just casually there it's just not really pushing a lot away to be honest there we go and uh, like there's a little puff of smoke right there okay 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 um well level ground level ground level ground level ground level ground here this will be our first little farm of the uh, Mistlands farming thing. It doesn't need to be good. It doesn't need to be anything. And I know that it's going to be super susceptible to uh, gals coming in. But don't care. Well, I do care, but I can't really do anything about it. Um, not at this point. It needs to be something like much bigger. And sort of underneath and enclosed. And it's just, that's a bit more ambitious than what I want to get working on right now this is just a matter of getting some of this working area cannot be cultivated that's interesting huh 
What if I flatten it first? Will it then be cultivated? No. Okay. That's on the stone, I guess. Interesting. Okay, so there isn't a lot of places that can be cultivated here, which makes sense. It's a little bit extra challenge. And then we need to take the puffs. We want to get like a really good location for this, but that's not going to be right now. Now it's just a matter of seeing if we can get something going. And I don't want to put in all of these because if I do, well, then I just risk that everything gets lost if uh, we get attacked once. And I think that they're... Okay, that's it. And the other one. And some people are saying that they are sort of attracting gals. I just think that's a... Uh, uh, because you don't... You can always just run away from them except if they attack your farm. Or we get the cauldron is boiling or something like that. I've had that once. And how are we doing? Yeah, okay. So we have a little bit built. It's going to take three days. And then we just ignore it here. Uh, in here, we have now built this part. So it's you can be dismantled. And instead, we can build that one. Let's make it over here. Let's make it there. Good. That gives us... Take half of that. There we go. And we can then continue to add coal. And we can add more iron as we get it. We don't have more iron right now. But, oh, we have uh, this copper scrap here. That's still something we want to do. You don't have any more processable items. And what we get from this is a little more copper. There we go. So now we have all that we need. The one thing that we were missing, we're going to get five plus that one. And what was the last thing? That was uh, 10 of these, I think. Yep. And get rid of the coal. We don't want that. There we go. And we have two minutes left. And let me just check. Oh, I also need enough for and that one. For a workbench. There we go. Don't need this. And I think this is what I needed. Yes. I can now do a sap extractor. But I can't do. Where can I make the sap extractor? It can only be made on these resources. And uh, you know what? Maybe since we're not carrying much. Let's fire this up. I know it's super dangerous to run around here like an idiot in. Uh, oh. There we go. And there. And what? It's not triggered. There. Found wisp. Dispel. And we are going to build that sap. This one. And then the sap extractor. Right there. And I am going to mark it. Sap. There. And what do we do? Who knows? Uh, we just wait, I guess. So let's uh, wait up and, uh, and, and get the next... And wait until we have some farming done or and or some sap being done. That should be the next objective here. So running around out here, I'm just been uh, just harvesting the resources here. Like that one is also gone now. Um, but I have this overwhelming, impending sense of doom out here, and it's absolutely ridiculous how much I I just feel that. Yeah, I feel that something was nearby. And I think we found it. We found a big guy, a soldier. All right, you see me. All right. Walk around, just trying to figure out what it is you want to do. Then I run behind it. To and then get some stamina back again. Okay, that's halfway. Yeah, okay. Let's make sure we actually have some stamina. Oops. Okay, don't get, uh, don't get reckless. That's not hitting me. Good. That's also good. No, 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 no. 
That's the attack I want. There. All right, they are pretty simple. I did have this very much a sense that they were right next to, but what I also saw is that there's a little light over here. Does that mean that there is another? I do have my wisp light on. No, I just thought that was a... Okay, that might have been a Dverger thing, but nope, not really. Okay, cool. Uh, I'm just uh, basically just farming a bit and exploring a bit. Not too far away, uh, but just uh, like, for example, here, we find an ancient sword, then uh, that's a good opportunity to just chop chop and then bring it back to our foundry because we're going to need a lot more iron. And this is now the easiest place to get iron uh, by, by now or for now. Uh, just chop chop and then we get it. No more going into the swamps to get uh, iron. Oh shit, yep, that's exactly what we knew was gonna happen. So maybe they are attracted to our farms. And that sucks. They are probably just gonna ruin everything. Uh, okay, and then I know that someone has been saying, and that's, that's perfectly okay, that's perfectly reasonable, that I definitely need some kind of AOE attack for these. Oh my god, this is not happening. This is not happening. Oh no, 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 no. Okay, let's see if we can get this bastard here that's ruining everything. The answer is probably no. And we got this little once again. Oh, I can't even kill them in one hit. Yeah. And it's just wasting so much hit points here. Okay, and then we can go back to the big guy. There you are. Barely even touching it. Barely even touching it. Okay, I have a plan. It's a good plan. It's a really good plan. Oh, this is not a good plan. Not a good plan. How the hell is this happening? A soldier? Are you fucking kidding me? I am not fighting a soldier too. Alright, I have to fight the soldier. not really great idea to fight both at the same time. They are tough as well. All of them. Oh, wow. Well, the good news is it is uh, <laughs> it's uh, getting away from my, uh, my, my farm though. That's the good news, I guess. We need more. Good. We got that one. And oh, goblins! Because of course we want goblins. Let's uh, get a little bit of healing here. Are you kidding me? This is so difficult. Okay, well we are on fire, so that's good news, right? Okay. And that one is just get away from that shit. Uh, oh, no, no armor! No! Okay, um. How are we. Okay, I don't know. I don't know what's going on here. One. Okay, that one. I don't know how to. How to avoid this, but okay, it's just you and me, buddy. It's just you and me, and you're at still 90 hit points, 90% hit points. That's brilliant. All right, so back in the days, I said I had a plan, and that plan was find one of those armor things and go underneath it because then that should there we go, like this part. Uh, except I need to 
kill. This thing. Okay, so that it was kind of a good idea, but also a very bad idea. That doesn't work. Shit, I was I was so sure it would work. Okay, well, um, let's uh, look for other great ideas. Stamina, stamina. Where are you? You're still here. Okay. Ah. No. Run for fuck's sake. I am. I am not liking any 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 of this. It's also like incredibly persistent. And I don't think I'm going to be able to heal enough for this. So I'm just... Oh, uh, run. Another batch of those. I mean, a ribcage would be nice. Oh shit! I get. I. I don't know. I don't know. I mean, we're we're kind of making a little bit of progress here. Ugh, man, but I need to hit every shot. Not like that. And just drag out the time here. Out of freaking arrows. Well, that's pretty bad. Okay. Um. Only one, one one thing to do, get the hell out of there. So, yeah, okay, I, that's just not really my... Can't really cope with that right now. Alright, I need to go in bed and make some more... Uh... Are you kidding me? Okay, I... <gasps> Lisa's not coming out here. There we go. That's going to be 10 arrows at least. All right. Let me go back, get some arrows, get back and see if we can salvage the situation. All right. We're going back in and I'm just going to pop a healing potion and we are going to go. Okay. Chill. Somehow these have not been all been destroyed. So let's drag the whole thing away. Right. We go hunting for the gal. We want to get it. We definitely want to get it. We got it. Do you hear it? It's somewhere up here. Nope. Thought I heard I heard it here, for sure. Man, it's so scary. There it is. Okay. Uh, please don't attack my base. Okay. It would be nice if you're attacking something else. I oh. can't see it. But I have 100 arrows, so it's all good. Oh, when will I learn this? Roll, damn you. Uh, the ticks are just annoying. Okay, back to the big one. And I don't want you to shoot at my base, please. You are shooting at my base. Come on, I was just getting you away from it. Shit. This is awful. Can you just not do that? Hey, I got the, I got a hit. And here comes pain. I need to get your attention. Like, ooh, that was a good one. Mm. 
down. Oh, this sucks though. All the damage you're dealing. Rogue. Oh my god, the, the amount of stamina I waste on these guys, it's just ridiculous. So, come on. Where are you? Oh, did I get it? Looks like looks like we got the bile back. Alright, let's look at the damage and see how much was destroyed. And that's everything. Alright, well that's... Um, this is a lesson for you. I have no idea what we're going to do about this lesson. What the hell? Blocked? That was weird. Right, so here's the lesson. Uh, don't farm anything. I have literally one mage cap left, so that was 40. Uh, <laughs> wasted. Okay. So, we're going to have to do something else. And that is an indoor farming location protected by something that is sturdy enough to take hits from the gals. Uh, that's a little bit of a challenge. But that's certainly not what we can do here. All right, well, um, let's, uh, let's, let's, Let's take that as a learning moment and just realize. I knew there was, I knew there was a risk, but um, it does seem like they're attracted to it. <laughs> uh, it didn't last very long until they came in and just wrecked everything. So, all right. Well, I guess next episode we'll have uh, some solution to this. I hope. Uh, thank you very much for watching. I hope that you uh, enjoyed it, despite the, the mess of, uh, of things we did here. Uh, we did get the Dverger location here, and we tried to make a farm, and uh, woohoo, there's one little thing uh, left. So, thank you for watching. Until next time, take care, and as always, stay effective.